Today, we're gonna cover how to set up your Zacuto Smart Z Finder, Director's Rig, and Cinematographer's Rig. Let's start with the basic Smart Z Finder kit. Step one, mount your smartphone to the bridge. Start by scanning the QR code on the bridge. This will bring up an alignment image on your phone. Align the white line on your phone screen with the lines on the bridge. Don't tighten the bridge just yet. Step two, prep the Smart Z Finder. Set aside the phone and the bridge and grab your Smart Z Finder. The Smart Z Finder comes with two sets of masks. The larger masks are for smaller phones and the smaller masks are for larger phones. Snap the masks into the Smart Z Finder skirt. There is also a light baffle Make sure it's oriented in the right direction based on your phone size as indicated on the baffle. Adjust if necessary. Step three, attach the Smart Z Finder to the bridge. Slide it into the connection. It should pull right in due to the magnets embedded in the Smart Z Finder. Should you need to adjust the position of the phone up, down, or laterally, loosen the adjustment screws, tweak the position of the phone, and tighten the screws, but don't over tighten. Take a look to make sure you're happy with the position. Step four, tighten the bridge. Apply light pressure to the top of the jaw and twist the red knob clockwise to lock. Step five, if needed, add a diopter. If you use reading glasses and want to add a drop-in diopter, now is a good time to do this. Remove the retaining ring in the eye cup by unscrewing it. Put in a diopter. 0.5 for mild change or increase to a higher strength diopter if needed. Make sure the convex side is facing inward. Add the retaining ring back in and you're ready to shoot. If you need to replace the anti-fog disc, remove the eye cup and push the old disc out. Make sure to peel away the protective film from each side of the new anti-fog disc. Insert the disc into the eye cup and reattach the eye cup to the Z finder. Step six. Removing the Smart Z Finder. Of course, at some point, you'll want to remove the Smart Z Finder. To separate the Smart Z Finder from the bridge, place two fingers on either side of the red knob and put your thumb in the recessed area. Then angle the Smart Z Finder down and pull to break the magnetic lock. You'll note that the Smart Z Finder has numerous Arca Swiss and NATO mounts with cold shoes and quarter 20 mounting points. This allows for a variety of creative rigging options, including mounting on a tripod, in either the horizontal or vertical orientation. That's it. Have fun shooting! The director's rig upgrades include the addition of the director's grip and the accessory rail. The director's grip can quickly be attached for horizontal or vertical shooting, or it can be used as a top handle for low angle shooting. Step one, attach the accessory rail. Grab your accessory rail and slide it into the lower of the two cold shoe slots. Then tighten with a flathead screwdriver. Step two, attach the director's grip. Just slide the director's grip into the cold shoe at the bottom of the bridge and turn the red lever to tighten. Or for vertical shooting, attach to the cold shoe at the side of the bridge. You can easily tweak the angle of the grip to your taste by loosening the bow tie lever. Now you're ready to take some great shots. With the cinematographer's rig, you get everything that's in the director's rig, plus the adjustable shoulder stock and brow. This setup gives you remarkable stability and versatility, and it's simple to set up. Step one, attach the adjustable shoulder stock. The adjustable shoulder stock attaches quickly and easily. Simply clamp the end of the shoulder stock onto the end of the bridge. Then tighten the red lever. Step two, adjust the angle, length, and shoulder rest. To adjust the angle of the shoulder stock, loosen the red lever closest to the bridge. The second red lever adjusts the length of the shoulder stock. To adjust the shoulder rest, simply apply pressure and rotate the rosette joint. Step three, attach the brow to the accessory rail. Attach the brow via the lower cold shoe mount on the accessory rail. It's a friction fit, no clamping required. Now, unfurl the brow and tweak the angle. 
Just like the director's rig, the cinematographer's rig can be configured to shoot vertically. There you have it. Now you're ready to create content with precision and ease. Whether shooting horizontal or vertical, we have you covered.